currently the world is burning. Right now we have so many unprecedented events that are happening. Literally the world's on fire. What's going on? This is your host Blending Cameron, your hustling godfather. Welcome to another edition of Hustlers Kung Fu, where we're going to talk about the world is doing and how you should prepare and things you should be doing during this crisis. Once again, this is your hustling godfather. I want you to subscribe, but more importantly, if this is your first time here or you've been around for a while, I want you to go to the front of the channel and begin watching videos and pick a, pay a playlist so you can start to skill up and get your entrepreneur education going on. To educate you, to bring you up to speed that it's going to get worse. There are many YouTubers who are out there talking about, I don't want to be the guy, the scary, I don't want to talk negative. I think telling adults what's really going to happen in an upfront and straightforward manner is the best course of action versus pretending that this isn't going to happen or we're, you know, like the stock market is just going to bounce back. This, this isn't going to happen and I'm here to tell you why. What's happening was an accelerated event. What this virus has done is accelerated what was already going to happen. Here's one of the things that you should understand that with this virus, with the meltdown, with the meltdown of the stock market, this was going to happen and this virus just brought it closer. And there are many people who are running these scenarios and they're comparing all of the previous crashes, except there were no pandemics. There was no viruses that it's going to get worse and you need to prepare. You need to set yourself up. You need to protect your family. You need to make sure your health is, is good to go because we're entering into uncharted territory and this recession is different because we have a virus and we have massive, massive layoffs. The Department of Labor unemployment uh, people around the United States are flooded with all these people who are filing for unemployment benefits. There is no way in hell that the job numbers for March are going to be good. It's impossible. Also with stock, many of these corporations that are on the stock market, you know, some are going to actually come out of this better than they went in because they're going to have less competition. They've got strong balance sheets. They got cash in the bank. Those companies will survive. There are other companies that were kind of teetering on the brink and they're not going to make it. This is one of the things that I want you folks to understand. This is a global reset. What we have going on right now is one of the craziest things I've ever seen in my lifetime. I've been through a few recessions, but I've never seen anything like this, nor has anyone else that is living. Maybe someone who survived the great depression may have a, a read on this. So one of the things is we're still getting punched week in week out. The numbers of people infected are going up every week. And until we get to a point where that levels off, we're still going to be taking punches. We're still going to be taking body blows and it's going to make it real hard to get back to a sense of normal. There's this guy who has this Airbnb channel. Who's just like going hard talking about, um, you know, we're, we're for the host. No one's traveling, man. Let's check the Airbnb. And you know, there are like whole apartments and whole houses going for 37 bucks a night. It's just that bad. But this is with a global reset. You're going to see a global reset. You're going to see many companies leave China and not return. You're going to see many things that are going to happen with the United States in terms of the fragile economy. A few years ago, I was doing these recession talks and I was talking about what was coming, going to happen. And it just got accelerated. I want you to think Toys R Us went out of business. A Subway was closing stores. There were many people who was like, Hey, the stock market is all time high. It's going crazy. Forget that the, you know, these, these stores, they just don't know how to do business. That was a slowing of the economy. The economy was slowing. Uh, before all this happened, I knew someone that used to drive for Uber and they were saying Uber was getting very, very slow. So this thing was already cooking. It's just got much, much worse. So 
what is one to do in this time of an epidemic? Right now, you should be studying. This isn't the time to be sitting at home, going crazy, going out of your mind, bored. This is the time to read books. This is the time to take online courses. This is times to make yourself more valuable when we come out on the other side. I have no clue how long this is gonna last. No one does. But I do know this, that eventually it will pass. And also, the with the global reset, there are many jobs that are gonna disappear. I, I did a recession talk talking about automation. And this is going to bring on automation with a wicked vengeance. You're going to see companies adapt automation, robotics, uh, AI, all of this other stuff. So there are many people who are going to lose jobs during this global reset. They're not going to get them back. They're going to be laid off. They're going to be fired. And this thing, I think, is going to be cataclysmic. Once again, I'm not trying to be an alarmist. I'm trying to be a realist. I'm trying to give you the information that you need to make better choices. This may seem extreme, but I think you should pause your 401k contributions. I think that you should be getting as much cash into your life as possible. You should cut all extra expenditures. And you know, these personal finance bloggers, everyone's like, hey, you know, the market's so cheap. Trust me, the market's gonna get cheaper. And there was one who became a realist because his mother, his father, and his girlfriend all got laid off. I want you to think about that. Right now, if you're a married couple, both you and your wife lose your job and you've got kids, what are you gonna do? This is, we're gonna see some dark, scary times. And hopefully our infection rate doesn't trend like it did in Italy, because if it did, our hospital systems are gonna be overwhelmed. And even more stuff's gonna shut down because just with the damage that has been done, it's gonna take the rest of the year for things to even go back to normal if we had a solution starting today. So this is why I know things are going to get worse. We're going into a global depression. And one of the things with that that is very, very scary is we don't know how long this is going to last. The last depression that we had lasted 10 years, 10 long, lean years. We had people who did not have jobs. We had people who did not have food. And once again, we have so many people here in the United States of America who are just not prepared for this. During this global reset, this could be the opportunity of a lifetime. This is where I started speaking positive on this thing. Because right now, I want you to think of your current situation. You're at home, you hopefully still are working or you have some money coming in and hopefully you have an emergency. This is a time for you to rethink how you want to live. This is a time for you to rethink how you're living. Because once again, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Savage Finance, the links below. And I'm gonna teach you how to deal with your money. Because once again, this thing is going to pass. We just have no clue to when it's gonna pass because we're still going down. The elevator's still going down. But this is a time for you to take stock of your life. This is time for you to sit down and really think. And I'm not gonna, you know, like, I think many of these personal finance channels are still in denial because they're hesitant to use the R word, recession. They're like, well, it's like, we're not in a recession. This is actually worse than the recession. Right now, we have millions of people around the world who are not working. We have people locked up in their houses, their national quarantines. We have restaurants. This is worse than the recession. And once again, you got to think about your brothers and sisters out there and you got to think about humanity because yes, this will be a good time to buy stock once we reach the bottom because you will be able to get it for cheap, cheap, cheap. But at what cost? How many people are going to die? How many people are going to suffer? How many people are going to be economically put back for the rest of their life for you to get your cheap stock? Just something to think about while you're all rubbing your hands together. This is the buying opportunity of a lifetime. I, I, you know, this hasn't impressed upon you the importance of starting your own business. And yet, and even with that, uh, everyone will sell on eBay, their sales are slow. Amazon sales are slow. Everyone is being impacted by this. However, because I had a business, 
This gave me the financial wherewithal to store up a nice size cash reserve where I can ride this thing out. You know, if I don't get paid another dollar this month, I will be able to live for a few years without working. So that is something that will happen with a business. That's not going to happen with a job unless you have an extremely high income. But this is a time for you to take stock, to think and start addressing some things that you haven't had a chance to address. So what should you be doing? You're at home. Maybe you're the wife's at home. Maybe the kids are at home. What you should do is maintain a schedule. Every day you should have a written schedule of things you need to do so you don't go stir crazy. You don't start to lose it. You don't start to freak out. Because I remember here in Atlanta, we had a snowstorm and people were literally freaking out because they had to stay home for a week because they were so used to getting up and going and doing what they want to do. I suggest that every day you have an hour or two of reading, whether it's online, whether it's books, you know, hopefully Amazon FBA doesn't, you know, Amazon doesn't shut down. You'll be able to order books. You'll be able to read eBooks, audio books, their instant download. So devote an hour to two hours a day of learning in applying new learning new skill sets and then exercise this is something that i've started because i started to gain weight again and i hit the treadmill for 50 minutes and then i do a weight workout later on and i'm doing two workouts a day and i've been doing this for the last three weeks so what you want to do is start working out walking running something to clear your mind something to get your spirit feeling good like in my neighborhood, I've noticed a lot of people are out walking, running, they're exercising, which is good. Now, another thing you want to do is meditate. You want to start meditating. If you've never meditated, there are plenty of online resources to help you learn how to meditate. Just go Google them and go ahead. So reading two to two, one to two hours a day, exercising and meditating. This is going to keep the anxiety level down because here we are. They're not going to evict you. They're not going to foreclose. They're not going to cut your power off. And the government's going to send you a check for food. Essentially, it ain't going to be the best of situations, but it's something that many people can ride out. During this global reset, this could be the opportunity of a lifetime. This is where I start speaking positive on this thing. Because right now, I want you to think of your current situation. You're at home. You hopefully still are working or you have some money coming in and hopefully you have an emergency. This is a time for you to rethink how you want to live. This is a time for you to rethink how you're living. Because once again, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Savage Finance, the links below. And I'm going to teach you how to deal with your money. Because once again, this thing is going to pass. We just have no clue to when it's going to pass because we're still going down. The elevator's still going down. But this is a time for you to take stock of your life. This is time for you to sit down and really think. And I'm not going to, you know, like I think many of these personal finance channels are still in denial because they're hesitant to use the R word, recession. They're like, well, it's like, we're not in a recession. This is actually worse than the recession. Right now, we have millions of people around the world who are not working millions this is worse than the recession we have people locked up in their houses their national quarantines we have restaurants this is worse than the recession and once again you got to think about your brothers and sisters out there and you got to think about humanity because yes this will be a good time to buy stock once we reach the bottom because you will be able to get it for cheap 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 but at what cost? How many people are going to die? How many people are going to suffer? How many people are going to be economically put back for the rest of their life for you to get your cheap stock? Just something to think about while you're all rubbing your hands together. This is the buying opportunity of a lifetime. Once again, I, I, you know, this hasn't impressed upon you the importance of starting your own business. And, yet, and even with that, you know, I'm impacted. My sales are slow. Uh, everyone on selling on eBay, their sales are slow. Amazon sales are slow. Everyone is being impacted by this. However, because I had a business, this gave me the financial wherewithal to store up a nice size cash reserve 
where I can ride this thing out. You know, if I don't get paid another dollar this month, I will be able to live for a few years without working. So that is something that will happen with a business. That's not gonna happen with a job unless you have an extremely high income. But this is a time for you to take stock. On this video, I gave you some things to think about. I gave you some things to chew on because this is a time that you can self-improve. I know it's ugly. I know people are scared. I know it's a little weird. I know it's a lot strange, but this is just my take on things you can do. For those of you who want to elevate your game, I'm about to go hard with training. One of the things I've done is I've discounted the prices of many courses and I'm introducing a new course called Critical Mindset. This is what helped me get through the personal crisis of eBay, which was like 85% of our income when they cut us off. These are the mental tools that you're going to need to navigate these tough waters because and they're going to give you abilities and the way a way of thinking that you currently don't deploy because when I do live streams I can tell that many people are not thinking this way because you don't know what you don't know and I've already been through my personal crisis when I was homeless when I was living in that boarding house and just last year I had a heart attack and a stroke and I weathered that storm really well because what we're talking about being able to live and being able to thrive when you're not working. I did not work for five months last year and due to me doing proper things during the beginning when times were good, I was, I was good. But to help you develop this shark mindset, I have the critical mindset course and other courses and all of the links are below. There's going to be amazing information there to help you develop the mental fortitude that you're going to need to weather these tough times. I don't think it's going to be a temporary bounce. I think this is going to be a protracted downturn and there's going to be many, many bad things that are going to happen, but also there will be many, many opportunities for those who are prepared and for those who have the right mindset. So hopefully let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, but more importantly, be sure to go to the front of the channel and begin watching playlists so you can get this entrepreneur education for the free 99. So with this, this is your host, Glendon Cameron. I will see you in the next video.